Have you ever wondered what exact keywords Amazon deems relevant for your product or brand? Or are you perhaps looking to grow your brand and trying to get an idea in terms of how much of the market you've actually capitalized on, and whether it makes sense to continue to run and try to expand your PPC on your Amazon listing? Hi, my name is Aaron Farrell with Sellers Arena, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a new tool called the Search Query Performance Tool on Amazon Seller Central and how you can leverage it for your product or brand. So stay tuned. All right, so hopping right into it here. I'm currently in the brand analytics dashboard and in order to get here, what I'm gonna wanna do is go up to brands and then go to brand analytics. And once you've done that, you're gonna get this screen, which is gonna to default to the Amazon search terms. This isn't what we're going to be covering at the current moment, but this is another tool inside of the brand analytics. Um, but what you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to is the top banner here where it says two of our new search analytics dashboards are live. And then you're gonna to wanna to click on view search analytics. And once you do that, you're gonna actually get presented with this screen here. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. And essentially, on these keywords here, first off, you're going to have a search query. So this is a particular keyword that the person is searching in order to discover or find your product. Now, one thing to note before I get into this is uh, basically on the brand, you're going to select that from the drop down if you have multiple brands. And then the next thing is you're going to want to select a reporting range. Um, you can do weekly, monthly, or even quarterly. But one interesting thing, if you go to monthly, you're going to actually see, and then we select the year 2022, select the month. There's actually only January and February currently. And as of recording this particular video. It's April of 2022. So you can tell that the data is definitely a little bit behind, which kind of is a typical case for anything that's in the beta phase on Amazon. They don't dedicate as many resources to getting as up to date information. But for something like this, I mean, really, if you're selecting one month after the next. Now, obviously there could be seasonal things, but if you have more of an evergreen product, it may be less common that these particular things kind of change. Now, you could look at a little bit further or extended of a uh, timeline, like if you wanted to do, for example, quarterly, just kind of looking at a week by week basis, you can also do that. But the most important thing is, yeah, just being able to understand from Amazon's perspective, where do they rank the highest performers for your particular products and your brands. Now, this is a combination of all, all of your different products. So if you have one brand with a bunch of different products, then this is definitely going to be probably very insightful for you. But the downside is if you had a bunch of different products that maybe aren't related, then you're going to have a bunch of different data in the search queries. And, you know, some of them couldn't be relevant for one particular product, and then others might be relevant for another product. And that's actually where the search catalog performance tool comes into handy, because you can actually get more granular by looking looking at the specific products, but in this video, just going over solely the search query performance. So next, yeah, basically looking at the search query, all of this row, which is, uh, you know, blurred out currently is exact search terms that customers are actually using to find your product or brand. So you may have used a, another keyword tool to do keyword research before, or, you know, you might be looking at a bunch of different things like Google tools or wherever you're just trying to figure out what exact keywords need to be put in place for your product and your brand. Well, this is an exact data directly from Amazon, even though it's a little bit delayed, it's exact data that you can utilize to get a better picture of where you really need to focus in on your efforts. So let's say, for example, you want to start to raise your rank on a particular keyword. Chances are if it's listed under the search query and it's got a high rank, that means it's performing well. So most likely you're already pretty much at the top particular search queries. But let's say, for example, you wanted to really start to go hard on PPC. Well, now you know 
you kind of have a list of specific keywords that you could run in an exact campaign to try to get more traffic and more sales to your products because Amazon's kind of doing a little bit of the legwork for you, right? Kind of taking a look at the rest of this here. So search query volume, basically this is the number of uh, searches for this particular search term, which is 21,338 in the month of February. The one thing that's a little confusing to me is the total count here. I mean, it's saying total impressions. So this could be counting multiple times or people going into a bunch of products, but it's just a little odd that, you know, the search query is at 21,000, but the total impressions is at a million. But we'll actually go into the glossary here in a little bit so we can read exactly how Amazon defines everything. And then we've got brand count. So this is the impression share, you know, for your particular brand or products. And then it gives you it in a percentage as well. And then same thing for clicks and then card ads as well. And you can go in here also and go to customize columns and you can select all these different things right here. If you want to add on additional things, I'm not going to go into depth on all of these, but Let's take a look at the metric glossary next. So you just would click right here. I've already got it preloaded. And right here, we're under the search query performance dashboard glossary. So general definition, rank. So basically, as I was kind of saying, it orders the queries from top performance to least performance. And they share the top 1,000 ranked queries at this point. That particular column cannot be hidden. And then, yeah, search query, as I was mentioning, it's the query search by the customer. Search Search query volumes, number of times this query was searched during the selected period. And let's take a look at the total count. So total count says the number of ASINs impressed for the query originated from the search result. So like I was saying, that's where it's very strange to me because it's saying that it had 21,000 search query volume, but over a million total count. Maybe Amazon's data is off. Maybe they're counting something multiple times. I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, basically, even if this isn't 100%, this is going to be a lot more accurate than something you would get from a third party tool until perhaps the third party tool starts to integrate and pull in this new data and then maybe visualize it, make it easier for you to kind of dissect and understand. Go ahead and hop into this new tool. Let me know how your experience goes in the comment below. And if you got value from this video, I'd really appreciate if you give it a like, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more videos just like this one. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.